One of the most important shows that is on television, actual cable, actually beneficial, actually critical, is that involving this horrible expose involving Dan Schneider, Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. I can't put into words how critical it is for parents to watch this and politicians, and police, and society at large, and everyone. This is one of the best tutorials there is on how predation works, how kids are targeted, how these, these predators work, how they focus in on their prey, and why it's important. And it's a subject which a lot of people do not want to talk about. They do not want to talk about it. I mean, they, they claim to... Uh, we live in a society where people love to scream pedophile, pedophile. But when you really want to get into the dynamics of this, the specifics of it, to really understand what's happening, it means that you're going to have to look at yourself and society and the way we handle sex and the way sex is objectified and weaponized and how kids need to really know what's going on. For a society where kids theoretically lose their innocence and know everything, and have horrible vocabularies and speak in the most vile of, uh, of forms and means. There is. They know nothing about this because of the power of sex, sexual behavior, but also sexual predation. And this is a textbook. I want you to understand, first and foremost, when it comes to this, what this is is these folks, these, and I'm not going to use the word pedophile. Okay, because I'm not interested in what somebody is interested in. I don't care about pedophiles or ephebophiles or hebophiles or chronophiles. That's not what we're after. We're talking predator. Predator. Not what you think. Not what turns you on. As a, a very wise woman one time said, we don't care whether you think about cannibalism whether you have fantasies about cannibalism, so long as you're not a cannibal. You got it? Now, what this is, is something which is the most important thing to understand. These folks are absolute geniuses when it comes to understanding the vulnerability of their target. You see, a hunter always has to understand the prey. What am I going after? When does this particular animal come out? What does it feed on? What is it afraid of? If you go fishing, does it like the dock? Does it like deep water, salt water? You know everything about catching them. But what you also do, what hunting is really about, is tricking them, fooling them, catching them, snaring them. You don't go out and pick off things like a sniper. You lure them in. You wear camouflage. You're not supposed to bait a field, but you use duck calls and everything to fool the prey because you understand what this thing wants and what it's attracted to. Let me give you an example of something which is important, and we're going to speak again about this. Years ago, I spoke with a, one of the most fascinating people I've ever met. His name is John Douglas, and he is a, uh, he is a uh, famous for FBI profiler. And he was the inspiration for Scott Glenn's character in Silence of the Lambs. So I asked him, I said, this was years ago, and you'll understand as I date myself with this. I said, tell me exactly what a predator would think. How would a child predator act? What would, not a pedophile, a predator, somebody who's going to snatch a child. He said, well, first, let's make sure we understand something. There's the prototypical white van person that we've always heard about, the guy with the trench coat, the guy behind the bus stop, the creep, they're still there. They abduct. They, they, they basically snatch kids. But there's something even, I don't want to say far more uh, deadly, but in some cases far more deadly because they're patient. And this is somebody who grooms. And the word grooming has been completely overused. But the idea is that this type of person wants you to love him. Usually a man. Usually a man. And the prey can be boys or girls. But the predator is usually a man. Not that there are not women, but what we're talking about are usually men. 
And what they do first and foremost is they understand what it is that the victim, that the prey, is fearful of. What scares them, what they need, what they lack, what they love. Because they want the prey to love them. They want to seduce them. They're patient. They want to groom. They're not out just to grab a kid. That's not it. This is a different story. This is about seduction. So in talking to John years ago, he said, let me give you an example. And this is a bit dated, but you'll understand. He said, if I were a, uh, a predator, I would go to a mall. And the first place I'd go to would be the game room. Remember in the old days, the game room, foosball and missile command and all these kids, the sound of kids standing around. With, and parents would drop the kids off of the game room so they would shop. And it seemed safe because there's all these kids. Nobody's watching them. But that's where a predator goes. Go where the kids are. And he said he would look for a kid who seemed to be by himself. Maybe a kid who was kind of fat. Maybe a kid who didn't look popular. Maybe a kid who didn't look, not to use the word attractive, but somebody who was not a part of a group. Somebody alone. Somebody alienated. Somebody in need of a friend. Somebody in need of attention. Somebody in need of love. So this fellow would sidle on over there and say, listen, I've got a few quarters here. I'm, And remember, nothing, nothing looks odd because... You, there are some parents and there are kids and there's noise and it's a mall. See, that's what's the beautiful thing about this quiet on set. This is a TV show. It's a, it's a, there are people watching. It's safe. It's nothing to worry about. They've got eyes. There are laws that say you have to have a guardian on set. Nothing to worry about. It's all in the open, right? And that's exactly what they count on. So this predator would go over and say, hey, you're, uh, I've got a couple of quarters. You might want to play these. Hey, you're pretty good. You're real good at that. Wow, where did you learn that? Praise, attention, the feeling of, of accomplishment, building up the spirit. This is, this is nothing but brainwashing, menticide. This is, this is, this is, absolute predation. This is like nothing you've ever seen before. And they they wait. And they're on little league teams and they're coaches and they are, you know, uh, they're sometimes teachers, sometimes not. Now let me stop right there and just say that I'm in no way suggesting and I'm not intimating or insinuating that little league coaches or Priests or teachers are these people. I'm not saying that. I'm not. You know it. I know it. And the fact that I've got to stop with these obligatory, kind of a gratuitous disclaimers, I think, is, a, is another story. But they're not what we're talking about. But if you are going to be a predator, you go where the kids are. And you have this sense of foolishness sometimes. Remember, they're cowards. Understand something, and this is the most important, whether it's Dan Schneider or anybody else for that matter, they don't get along with adults. They're not interested in people their own age. This is a power issue. This is a power differential. This is not merely somebody who has a preference for, let's say, blondes or redheads or kids. This is a different story. This would be somebody who had a preference for blondes or redheads who were submissive, who can be overpowered intellectually, outsmarted. If you're a, a, a molestor, like we used to use the term, if you are a predator, you feel inadequate around people your own age. Your own, your, this is, that's not what you want. That's not what you want. This is the only time this is the only time when you will feel in charge and you will not feel humiliated or risk being humiliated or risk being not up to par for a variety of reasons. And we're not necessarily talking about physical accoutrement or looks. Or, I'm not talking about, we're talking about mental because that's the notion of this. 
That is the notion. There's there's something of this is this is not just sex, yes, but differential power, differential predation, overpowering, domination, ruling, not being in control, calling the shots, outsmarting, prey, seduction. It's 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 everywhere. And we've got to talk about this. And we have to make kids predator-proof. Look, we tell kids all the time, be careful of snakes. Be careful of ticks and Lyme disease. And watch what you eat. And watch out for allergies. And be careful about this. And don't drink and drive. And don't. We, we tell kids all the time. And they do very well. We have to sit down with kids and use this. Use this quiet on set and show this is important. I could talk about this and will at layers and levels and strata that are seemingly endless because there's so much to this story. How did this go on this long? How did this go on in front of everybody? And look at what he did. From the days of the casting couch, from the days of Louis B. Mayer and Jack Warner and uh, Capra. I'm not saying they were predators, but Chaplin and whatever it was. When you are in an industry where people are coming to you with their dreams and they want attention, they're actors, they're actresses, they're performers, they want attention, they want positive reinforcement. They're saying, here, I want to please, I want you to clap, notice me, pay attention to me, give me the dream, the glimpse of a future. And one, one poor African-American young man said this was his chance to get his family out of the hood. This, this was. This is where these people, they know. They, they do this, listen, they do this with adults. The vulnerability, I'm going to make you a star. And the moment you show any kind of resistance, the moment you show any disinclination to do what I say, show me disrespect, the moment you show any autonomy, the moment that you show me anything that indicates that perhaps you might not be the easiest mark, the easiest target, Somebody I got to worry about. I'm going to drop you in a heartbeat. I don't need you. I've got people lined up who will do anything. And also, this, this incredible story. Look how the, the predilections, the sexual predispositions, the way his own particular uh, paraphilia made its way onto the set, into the storylines, and you look at them, and you see exactly what the story is. You see exactly what the, what, what, what the, the symbolism is, the symbology, the semiotics. You see exactly what the sexual messaging is. But at the time, nobody mentioned it because, oh, no, no, he's the golden boy. Oh, no, Dan Schneider, he's, he's, are you kidding He's making money. And it must be okay because kids like it. And parents like it. And when we go on the road, we have sellout, you know, whatever, uh, uh, attractions. And people are always trying to come on board to audition. So uh, there's nothing wrong with this. If there was, I as the producer would know something about it. And they, they do this. Out of two particular mechanisms, one looking the other way, they're not interesting. It does not help the bottom line for you to spend a lot of time trying to protect innocent, anonymous kids that will not help your uh, your uh, uh, stockholders. No, you don't care about that. You just, it's the business. You look the other way. You fool yourself into thinking, well, we have different levels of, of, uh, of you know, uh, protection, then I don't have to worry about this. But this is about predation. And this is about people, and look how they seduce. They seem like the nicest people. They would be 
the best were it not for their disgusting ways. They would be the best child psychologists because they know exactly what a child thinks, what a child worries about, their thoughts. They can be a child. It's like putting on a putting on a, a like a like a camouflage outfit where where you're you're luring them. It's 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 the hunt. The hunted. It's exactly what this is. And it's all over the place. And I hope that if you are watching me now, you sit down with your kids and you tell them in no uncertain terms, I want you to listen to me. If anybody touches you, if anybody makes you feel weird, if anybody wants to play a game, if anybody tells you this is our little secret, if anybody threatens you or mommy or daddy or your brother or your dog or you, this is what they do. You let me know. You make them, sed not seduction proof, but you make them predation proof. You, you make them victim proof. You inoculate them. You vaccinate them with the truth. You make them un, untouchable because this child will say, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I understand this. My parents told me this. And don't ever feel that, well, you know, this might be, this might be too much. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what's too much? Being a victim to the Dan Schneiders of the world. We're going to talk more about this. Okay? We're going to talk more about this. This is huge, my friends. And if you had any idea how much this happens and how often it happens, you would not be able to sleep. So please, subscribe to this channel. I'm sorry to be so commercial, but you know how this is. Please like the video. And more importantly, comment. Comment, comment, comment in the sections. Comment. This is this is too critical for us to let go by. Comment as you see fit.